You've been lied to about the dodo. History painted them as fat, stupid birds that deserved extinction. Too dumb to survive, too slow to escape, too trusting to live. But what if the real story isn't about weakness, but about an ecological disaster so swift and brutal that even the smartest bird couldn't survive it? Today, we're uncovering the shocking truth behind one of history's most misunderstood extinctions. The dodo didn't go extinct because they were dumb. They went extinct because we destroyed destroyed an entire ecosystem in less than a human lifetime. Here are the seven real reasons the dodo disappeared forever. When Dutch sailors arrived on Mauritius in 1598, they found a three-foot-tall bird weighing up to 50 pounds with a massive hooked beak. They called it dodars, meaning fat arse in Dutch. But the dodo wasn't fat because it was lazy. It was thriving. Mauritius had no large predators. The dodo had evolved in paradise, and its size was an advantage. Larger birds stored more fat, survived cyclone seasons, and dominated the best nesting sites. Scientists now believe dodos were highly selective eaters, choosing only the richest fruits and nuts. They weren't stupid, they were specialists, and that specialization became their death sentence. The dodo had a secret partner. A tree called the tambalacoque, also known as the dodo tree. This tree produces massive seeds encased in rock-hard shells. No animal on Mauritius could crack them open except the dodo. When a dodo swallowed these seeds, digestive acids weakened the shell just enough for germination. The seeds would pass through, land in nutrient-rich dodo droppings, and sprout into new trees. After the dodo went extinct, the tambalacoque stopped reproducing. By the 1970s, only 13 ancient trees remained, all over 300 years old. The exact age dodos had been extinct. The dodo wasn't just a bird, it was a keystone species holding an entire forest together. Yes, sailors hunted dodos for food, but that wasn't the main problem. Their meat was reportedly greasy and unpleasant. The real killer? Pigs. When the Dutch colonized Mauritius in 1638, they brought pigs to breed for food. These semi-wild hogs went feral, spreading across the island like a plague, and they discovered dodo eggs. Unlike most birds, dodos nested on the ground, laying a single egg per year in shallow nests. Perfect for pigs to find. Pigs rooted through the forest floor, devouring eggs faster than dodos could replace them. Conservationists estimate feral pigs destroyed over 90% of dodo nesting sites within the first decade. A species that can't reproduce is already extinct. It just doesn't know it yet. Black rats and brown rats hitched rides on Dutch ships and swarmed the island. These rodents were relentless. They raided nests and ate everything. Dodo chicks didn't stand a chance. Rats could chew through shells, consume embryos, and move to the next nest before the mother returned. A single pair of rats can produce hundreds of descendants in a year. Within a decade, Mauritius was crawling with millions of them. But rats didn't stop at eggs. They competed for food, eating the same fruits and seeds dodos relied on. The island's resources stretched thin. Dodos were starving in their own paradise. Crab-eating macaques brought by sailors as pets quickly escaped and established wild populations. These primates were smart, social, and ruthless. They raided nests, stole eggs, and killed dodo chicks. Worse, they spread faster than any other invasive species. Monkeys could swing through trees, accessing nests that pigs and rats couldn't reach. They worked in groups, coordinating attacks. Ground nests were destroyed by pigs. Tree nests were raided by monkeys. Hidden nests were sniffed out by rats. The dodos were surrounded with no evolutionary defense. The dodo wasn't defenseless. They had strong beaks capable of crushing bones. Some accounts describe dodos attacking sailors who got too close to their nests. They were protective parents, fiercely guarding their single egg. But evolution hadn't prepared them for this invasion. In millions of years on Mauritius, dodos had never encountered mammals. No pigs, no rats, no monkeys. Their brains didn't recognize these creatures as threats. By the time they learned, it was too late. Here's the cruelest twist. Most birds lay multiple eggs per season. The dodo laid one. 
just one. If that egg was destroyed, they had to wait an entire year to try again. In a stable environment, this works, but in an environment overrun by invasive predators, it's a death sentence. Even if a dodo pair successfully hatched an egg, the chick faced rats, pigs, monkeys, and introduced cats. Survival rates plummeted to nearly zero. Then came the final blow, deforestation. The Dutch didn't just bring animals, they brought axes. Mauritius was covered in lush ebony forests, and ebony wood was worth a fortune in Europe. The Dutch began clear-cutting the island, shipping massive logs to Amsterdam. Within 50 years, over 80% of the native forest was gone. The dodo's habitat, food sources, and nesting grounds vanished. What few dodos remained were forced into shrinking forest pockets, even more vulnerable to predators. The ecosystem that supported them for 4 million years was dismantled in less than a human lifetime. By 1662, just 24 years after the Dutch settled the island, the last confirmed dodo sighting was recorded. In less than a century, an entire species was erased. Not because they were weak, but because we unleashed a perfect storm of destruction. Invasive species, habitat loss, and hunting converged into an extinction event so fast and total that the dodo never stood a chance. The dodo's extinction wasn't unique, it was a preview. Since humans began exploring the world, we've driven hundreds of island species to extinction using the same playbook. Invasive species, deforestation, and hunting. Island ecosystems are fragile. They evolve in isolation, creating species so specialized they can't adapt to sudden change. The dodo didn't die because it was stupid. It died because it was innocent. It had no concept of mammals as threats, and we punished that innocence with extinction. Today, scientists are exploring de-extinction technologies using ancient DNA from dodo bones. Some propose using rock pigeons as surrogates. Others suggest gene editing to recreate dodo traits. But even if we could clone a dodo, where would it live? Mauritius is no longer paradise. The Tambalakoki trees are nearly extinct. The forests are gone. The island crawls with descendants of the same invasive species that killed the dodo. Bringing back the dodo without fixing the ecosystem would solve nothing. The dodo went extinct because we destroyed an entire world. We didn't just kill a bird. We collapsed a forest, erased a keystone species, and scarred an island for centuries. The real reason the dodo went extinct isn't because they were too trusting or too slow. It's because we were too careless, too greedy, and too blind to see the consequences until it was too late. So what do you think? Does the dodo deserve its reputation as a symbol of stupidity? Or should we remember it as a victim of human greed? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and if this story changed how you see extinction, hit that like button and subscribe. Because next time, we're diving into even more species that vanished before we realized what we'd lost.